everyone this is Mitadul Datta from IIT KGP and in this video we are gonna talk about how to build Jupyter interface in VS Code. If you don't have VS Code installed and are using any other editor for coding purpose I will suggest you to use this software as in a single software you can run any type of programming language you want and you can literally do anything you can do using the terminal of VS Code you can even control all the things that you can do from the command prompt too. So even if you are new in command prompt this video will help you to get an introduction and the main purpose for this video is to install all the basic libraries all the heavy libraries required for AI and using pip and this is the most difficult part uh, where people uh, mostly face problem if with if they don't know how to do this so this is basically an installation guide and i i would want you to know this and you should be able to code simultaneously as i am as we go more deeper into the concepts and the coding so by the end of this video you will be able to run and download python on vs code set up jupyter interface install pip using command prompt install numpy pandas malplotlib libraries on vs code and so i will request you to watch this video till the end so the first step is download and install vs code on your system this is quite easy you can simply type in google search vs code and you can download it after that you will be uh, you have to install it uh, using an installation wizard you need to do nothing in that just press next 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 and then finish so this way you can easily download the vs code now when you open the vs code using any folder or just simply open you should click on this this is the extension part you should click on this after this after you click on this in this portion you will get a search bar in the search bar you have to type pylance and download it and then you have to type environment python environment manager S similarly you have to type all these one by one and keep installing those note that during all this your uh, mobile data or hotspot or wi-fi should uh, internet connection should be connected and uh, vs code directly connects with the internet also so the next step is you must open command prompt uh, to do this you can press windows plus x key also and uh, silk type cmd and then enter or you can simply uh, type cmd in the start, start button to open the command prompt and then to run the you need to run this command pip help this is basically to understand whether you are having pip already installed on your system or not mostly you will not be you will not have it installed already so it will tell you pip is not recognized as an internal or external command so now step 5 is to run this this same curl actually this is the thing which you need to do in order to install directly from the web using command prompt so you can do curl https this is the link exactly you see this link and minus uh, hyphen o get pip dot file this is the file name of this so see the last portion basically this is the file name minus o means uh, you are telling it to uh, the, to save it as in some particular folder of the working directory it is basically c folder i guess c drive in the c drive win w32 something like that folder will be there there it will get automatically saved so you know don't need to worry about that you simply need to type this command curl link minus o get pip dot pi so in the step six what you need to do is to write python in the command prompt just write python and nothing else and press enter key it will direct you to the app store to install python if you have already installed then nothing will happen it will just show the functions which are available or it will just open the app or um, you can simply write python then 
you have to install it if not already done as I told you. Now you need to install pip and you need to type the, this following thing python get pip.py and while doing this you must ensure your internet connectivity and the command prompt will automatically download pip and then you need to write pip help again to verify installation you will see all the functions that are available in the pip and now we are then good to go after step 9 so now we can, you open vs code and then click on terminal and press this new terminal option then you select pip hyphen hyphen version this will instruct you to upgrade pip if further versions are there so this is very important because any function there are many versions of pip first when you download pip the surprising thing is that you will not be given the latest version you have to upgrade it again so you need to do this pip version to see which version and then in as you execute this it, it will automatically see that you to upgrade there, there will be instruction to upgrade pip write this command so you need to copy paste that command and again run that so you can do, do this pip version vs code or command prompt also and then type you need to then pip install to download and install any python library so pip install library name now suppose now things become so simple pip install numpy your numpy will be installed pip install pandas pandas and similarly matplotlib similar, uh, you uh, can install it in such an easy way once you have installed pip so now where jupyter was downloaded click on enable jupyter you remember in the initial steps we downloaded jupyter using the extension of vs code you need to click enable jupyter key map and jupyter notebook renderers there are enable option over there so you need to enable it so then you need to restart vs code definitely and create a file see the now the the normal python extension you know that it is dot py but to get a jupyter notebook you need to create a file with such a kind of extension dot ipyynb and you then repeat step 12 in jupyter notebook in the cells okay uh, the, once you are in jupyter notebook no need to use the terminal you can simply write pip install numpy pandas and matplotlib in the jupyter notebook the cells the cells of the jupyter notebook so now the interface would look something like this you know the basic stuffs like uh, shift plus enter keys to directly show the output of each cell suppose you write some uh, code like this and you want to plot this graph so it will directly show this uh, as a, the graph will be shown as an image as a, uh, dust below the cell so yeah guys that's all from this video hope you enjoyed thanks a lot